All right, guys, this is Devon Gormigan, and welcome back to another Late Night in Scotland episode. So this is a vlog series where I talk about a time where a few weeks ago, not well, like a month ago, I went to Scotland, and I was at, I was going to this specific club like every night, and a lot of things happened each of those nights for me going to this club. Now, if you want to know, if you kind of like this, you want to know more, there's, you know, previous parts. There's, you know, other two episodes before this, and this is like, Part three, my third night, my third night going to this party. So let's get into it without further ado. Because sometimes these things be long, so let's get into it. So, right, the, it becomes almost 10 o'clock. You know, I started pre gaming, had the whiskey with the, uh, whiskey with the cocoa, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's my, really focus me. That, that, that's my pre game of choice. So I make sure I was well pre gaming. And when I had a few shots, I, I went down to the club. Everything was cool, cool. Walked through the party. Like, once again, packed with people. Like, the dance floor packed. Inside where all the bar stuff was, packed. So, walking in, crying to people. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, that whole thing. Um, I wasn't really catching no vibe, so I, was just, I just sat. Um, like, I went to the dance floor and I was standing by the little wall or whatever. You know, cool guys by the wall, posted up, and worry about nothing. Post it up, right? So we just post it up, and then, bah, lo and bah, I even can't speak of this. Lo and behold to me, I think that's right. So lo and behold to me, no, unbeknownst to me. <laughs> there we go. So unbeknownst to me, there was like this girl. She was sitting there by herself on her phone. Now I'm no amateur. I know before you get into any situation, you gotta scope out the scene. <laughs> I'm no amateur, so I'm saying she got a boyfriend, she got some friends, because I don't want this to be the third day in a row I try to talk to some girl, and then all of a sudden her friends take her away, so you know, a few minutes go by, I don't, I don't see it with no people, just her by himself, I'm cool, so she's on her phone, I'm next, I'm like, she's, on, she's like on her phone on the wall, and I'm on the wall too, so we like, her me, so I'm like, alright, cool, I'm, I'm like, you know, stunned it. You know, you know the little dance you do when you're like in the middle of the dance floor, the little one, two step or whatever. I'm doing this, looking at her a little bit. I think I think I said something to her. I'm like, I just made up something. Like, I'm like, hey, um, what time does this club end? Like, I know it ends at like five, but you do that to make conversation. So like, hey, what time does this club ends? She was like, um, I don't know. And then like, I said something else to her. I'm like, man, this club is weird. She was all like, yeah, ha, ha, ha. She said something. And then all of a sudden, we like kept, like, started a little conversation or whatever. And then, um, she, like, her song came on. Well, not her song, her song. She, yeah, her song. Her song came on. She started dancing a little bit. I started dancing with her too, which is by the, little by the edge or whatever. So we're just dancing on the dance floor. A lot of, then she goes, Hey, I got uh, I got joints in my uh, bag. Was I was like, okay, let's let's go. You <laughs> feed me, and then she was okay. So after a little bit of dancing, we went outside, to go smoke, and then we, when we were smoking, we were just talking and chilling, uh, just pretty much getting to know each other. Okay, she was you know um, born and raised there in Scotland. I'm American. We was talking, and then and out of nowhere. She was like, um, hey, I'm going to be straight up with you. I sell coke, you get me? I'm, I'm what? She's like, yeah, you get me, fam. I'm, fam, she hit me with the fam and all that. Like, you get me, fam. I'm, I'm all right. I'm, you know, she, so she was like real, like, drug dealer, like, coke, like. But, so this thing, like, and she was wild, too, because, like, over there, we was illegal. But like, we was doing it right outside the party and like the party is like a, you know, it's, it's a street right there and everybody's coming to know and cops are going through cause there's like a, this like a little strip with like a lot of bars where there's like people fighting and stuff too. So cops like, they stay like nearby, you get me? So I'm like, oh, she just smoking right in the street. I'm like, bro, this is sketch. I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing all this. And all of a sudden like, but like she's like a real big like drug dealer cause every once in a while like, 
somebody will come by and like, and she will know like who to talk to. She'll know that oh, like these are the fiends and like these are the people that got it and like these are, like the customer. Like like she'll be like like look at people and know like oh, this person that person. All of a sudden like a guy comes up to her who's like a fiend and he's like come on, you got any you got any like coke? She was like no no I was like, hey. She was like hey like I'll, I'll let you I'll let you get one. So like he wanted a puff so she like held it up to him and like he got the puff and then she like took it back. <laughs> And I guess he was trying to buy some some like coke some like coke from him, so she was like, "Oh, hey, I don't got it, but let me see. Let me see. I got you." So she went up to another guy and tried to see if he got it, and she was like, "Oh, nah, he don't got coke. He only got blah blah blah." blah. And so like, and so like the, the fiend was like, "Ah," uh. and then so FYI, a fiend is like a person who like really wants drugs and was like all weak for drugs. FYI, just a tip, hood tip. Anyway, so boom. Now at this point, I'm like, do I really want to be in this situation? And then she was like on her phone, like waiting for some guy to come. So I'm like, okay, waiting for some guy to come. She sells coke. She knows like all the fiends, all the drug dealers. Do I really want to be in this situation? Like, and, and she was telling me, she was revealing me all kind of crazy stuff too. So I'm like, dang, I'm like, she was, she was telling me like she'd been arrested lots of times. So I'm like, do I really want to be in this situation? Because if we get into something and the police come and then we get caught and she got like all kind of stuff on her, I'm like, I don't know if I want to get caught with all that. Like to be arrested in Scotland and the American being arrested in Scotland, bro, they probably never let me out. Especially because they hate our president, so they probably would never let me out. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So what I did was I was like, you know what? As good as this is, and as fun as this is, I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> so I'm going inside, right? I left her with the fiend. I guess they became friends or whatever. So I left back inside by myself. A few minutes later, her and the fiend, they came back in. They was like, oh, hey, Devon. Hey, she started hugging me. Oh, yeah, cool. And then I was like, all right, I'll stick with her, I guess. We're, we're dancing. All of a sudden, she started smoking right on the dance floor. Like, Smoking, I'm talking smoking loud, loud right on the dance floor. I'm like, bro, we could get arrested for this. And the club has security. They had some big, like big beefy security. Like I'm, I'm like, whoa, I trying to get arrested and beat up off, off a little split. But, but yeah, man, after that, um, she gave me her number and everything. She told me to link her, but it's hard to link her. Like she's only in Scotland, and I was already gonna leave in a couple more days anyway. So I'm like. I took down her, her WhatsApp, cause she had WhatsApp, but I'm like, I, there's no way I can communicate with you cause you're all the way over there, I'm all the way over here. But I mean, I saw her number, you never know what happened. Maybe I'll go back, you never know. Life, life is crazy, you never know what happened. So yeah, man, that was my story, man. I'm getting hooked up with a connect, I guess, <laughs> with that Scotland connect, but yeah, man, this club was super, super fun. If I could do it all again, I would go to those clubs every night again for the two weeks. But yeah, guys, so um, I have tons of other videos. I have comedy sketches. I have short films all on this channel. So if you don't really like the vlogs, go see those. I do all kinds of stuff. Links down below. See you later.